All right, we're on to the NFC East, and we're talking about the number two team in football, the Dallas Cowboys, who a lot of people can't stand to see this team doing so well, but you got to give them credit. This offensive line is the best single unit uh, in the NFL outside of maybe Tom Brady at quarterback because you watch this team and they are able to do whatever they want offensively and it's all because of the offensive line. Zeke Elliott has been fantastic, uh, but who knows what he would be doing uh, in, say, Jacksonville. Um, so very impressed offensively. Uh, so much talk about Dak Prescott, and I'm going to spend a lot of time talking about him because, um, yeah, he's looked fantastic, but i got to be honest, a ton of quarterbacks would look fantastic uh, behind that offensive line. What I see is a guy who misses a lot of throws and a guy who's starting to make mistakes these last couple of weeks, uh, starting to turn the ball over. Uh, the, the interception he threw in the second quarter against the Eagles was inexcusable. Uh, almost cost the team the game because of that uh, turnover. Uh, they were able to come back. Dak played great and really saved himself by doing that. Uh, but even that comeback, it wasn't a ton of um, ex exciting, excellent throws by Dak. I think this team should go back to Tony Romo. I think if they really want to win the Super Bowl this year, which they should be going for. They're the best team in the NFC. They have the pieces defensively. They have it all together right now. I'm not sure it's going to last. They need to put Tony Romo back in at quarterback because he's the guy with the experience. They can run the best offense with Tony Romo. Um, yeah, give him time to, to get healthy. Uh, I'd play Dak tomorrow against Cleveland. But I still think you got to go to Tony. He's not going to make the mistakes that Dak is going to make down the stretch. Uh, and let Dak learn a little bit. Uh, you know, he's got some experience. But there's no need to rush him. Uh, and maybe he gets to the playoffs and has a, a devastating uh, loss that falls on his shoulders, and then you're jeopardizing his future. Confidence is everything for a quarterback. Just look at what happened to Carson Palmer after an embarrassing playoff, a couple of playoff games from Carson Palmer last year. Uh, and then on the defensive side of the ball, this is one of the deeper D lines. Uh, the, the rumors of them trading for Sheldon Richardson were definitely scary. Uh, it doesn't end up happening, but they already have a ton of um, rotational depth. Not really any superstars on the D-line, but playing very well up front. Uh, just playing good enough defense, really, uh, to control the ball with their offense and then defensively uh, bend, don't break. The secondary has been incredible, uh, really all around. They have three great corners. Uh, Claiborne's been fantastic. Brandon Carr, um, and uh, the third, Skandrick, uh, finally coming back. Uh, Byron Jones at, at free safety, I love. Such a great athlete. And Barry Church has had a great year. Claiborne and Church get hurt. We'll see how long they're out for. Uh, but Dallas, just the front runners right now in the NFC, uh, just because, honestly because of that offensive line. It's the most valuable group. And the scary thing going forward is their core offensive line is all very, very young. Uh, so they're going to be able to do this, especially with Zeke. We could be looking at the next eight years, Dallas really being able to control the line of scrimmage and build around that offensive line. So if they aren't a uh, Super Bowl team this year, going forward, they are going to be terrifying. So that concludes my uh, Cowboys midseason wrap-up. Next we'll talk about the Eagles.